There's a lot of buzz online and in social media right now about Mississippi pot roast. Usually prepared with beef, we're gonna give this a try with two beautiful cuts of venison off of a recent buck. Mississippi pot roast requires minimal ingredients, takes just minutes to prepare, and slow cooks over a period of hours in your slow cooker. I cannot even pick it up because it is breaking apart in my tongue. Oh lordy. Let's do it. It's so good. So this comes together really, really quickly. And first we're just gonna season our meat with just a light dusting of some PS Seasoning Wild Game. Because we're using venison instead of beef, this stuff really goes on anything. But I just love to add this anywhere we're cooking venison in the world, any type of recipe that we're using, we're gonna use some PS Seasoning Wild Game. It just adds a really nice flavor that complements venison really, really well. From here, most of your seasoning can be applied to your meat directly in the crock pot. So we're gonna go ahead and add these two roasts in. And then I'm just gonna add couple of packets of au jus seasoning. This is your French dip seasoning. We're just going to cover the meat in this. And there's no specific proportions here that you need to stick to. I do want to make sure we get this on both sides, so I'll try rotating it. And if need be, I'll add another pack. Matter of fact, I think I will. So that turned out to be about a pack and a half of that au jus seasoning. If you don't have that, you can use some beef stew mix as well. So now we're just gonna add to the same thing with probably the same proportions of ranch seasoning. Do that on both sides. Now we're just gonna cover the roast with about a stick and a half of butter. And I'm gonna spread that evenly between the two roasts. Gonna spread this around in here. Oh yeah, buddy. I went a little bit heavy on the butter because one, it's butter, right? And two, because this venison is so, so lean and we're not putting any other moisture in the pot. There's not a lot of fat in it to help it break down. I just wanna make sure it just doesn't get too, too dry while it's cooking. Seems reasonable to me since we're switching to venison. Now the last thing, we're just gonna go ahead and add some of these Pepperoncini, 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 golden Greek peppers. They look about like banana peppers. These are about medium heat. We're just gonna add some of these right on top of the roast as well. Oh, they smell good. I like that. Here, let's knock some of this butter down. Make some space for the peppers. Folks, that is it. So we're just gonna cover this and cook it on low for eight to 10 hours. Because we're using venison and not beef, it might take less time. So just keep an eye on it. I mean, I guess we're just go watch football or something. We're done. All right, you guys, I'm taking over. I just got home and the house is smelling amazing. Jonathan has had this thing cooking all day. I cannot wait to get in here and see how this thing tastes. Let's go. It's looking good, it's smelling good. Oh. It broke apart. Y'all, this is, it's breaking apart. I cannot even pick it up. Oh, Lordy. Y'all, this looks so incredibly tender. It smells so amazing. It was so easy. It's so good. Thank you guys for being with us. You gotta give this one a try. Hope you have a great night. We'll see you next time. God bless.